Hello, it's Zara. And I'm here tonight to talk about my other steampunk mini album that I made, my itty bitty mini. But first I wanted to talk about the, how I made it. And I was debating because I knew I wanted to use my um, bind it all. I needed to make pages and I had made these paper bag mini albums in the past and I'll show you this is one of my favorites but like it's basically you take a bag and you're just you use the whole length of the bag you can cut a little bit off um, and then you take the corners off so it actually looks like a tag and you fold the front of this down and you make your pockets that way so here's one that I made and I never put this is like one of the first ones I ever made Steffo gal one I think her name is I'm gonna look and I'm gonna put it in the um, description box to let you guys know she has a tutorial for it and I was like it was one of the first ones I found of a mini album and so I was playing with it so this is it this is the paper bag and she had you cover the entire bag with paper and use your exacto knife to trim it out so that's why everything is really snug up to the edges and um, so you snip your corners of the bag and then you fold this half down and make the flap and then there's a pocket there and then there's another pocket back here and I don't have anything in that but then you flip it over and then here's the pocket that the bottom of the bag makes so this is the bag and you just adhere this down and that makes your pocket there you do it again so this is a tag here so anyway and I bound these with um, these binding rings so this is one of the earlier ones I made I like how this one came out I did put a chipboard cover on this one and just use some Halloween paper and these are made out of um, like manila file folders I made the the tags and then I put a regular because um, the back pocket isn't as deep as the first pocket. The first pocket goes all the way down, but the second pocket only goes sort of the, some of the way down. So um, this is this one, and you know you just put a journaling spot in that pocket. I love, I liked how this one turned out because of the paper. It was so cute. So um, anyway, so that's what I decided to do for um, my itty bitty mini. But I wanted to, because these bags are three and a half, I think, wide. Let's see, I'll use this. Yeah, three and a half wide, so I was good. And then I just had to make this, like, four. Um, I'll show you what I did. But anyway, the other thing I wanted to tell you was, I did try this again, and I used the Kathy Orta binding uh, system. I made little hinges, and I made a Christmas one. So you can use this style of um, mini album and and uh, bind it uh, any way you want you know so here's what I ended up with my desk is such a mess I really have to clean a thorough cleaning but these are the smallest bags they have at Michael's because I would have liked to get like a smaller one and have used I don't know though because working on such a small project is a challenge so I made this one using all steampunk spells I'm pretty sure I mean I might have thrown in like one thing or something of I think some words I cut from um, the English paper the um, chronology paper that I used on my other one but anyway and mostly it's embellished with the paper itself I, I did fussy cutting and I cut um, the paper and kind of just adhered that on um, I did use a little bit of ribbon on the, some of the tags, and I put eyelets in the, some of the tags, too, as, like, an embellishment, because it's steampunk, and that's a lot of metal. First, I wanted to show you this. I wanted to use this charm. Oh, look, that's the back. The, my punch fit right in here, and that's part of the paper, paper line, and then um, I put wings on it. Time flies. But this charm, I changed it because it didn't match this this paper as well as it matched the other paper but one of my favorite things I made was she's from the um the paper line she's like on it uh like one of these look it's like a look it was it's actually a stamp I cut the stamp edge off but that's her and I had the 8x8 um paper pad so I think that's what I got this from and I just glued it onto the back of a uh cabochon and then cut it around the edge and then glued it in here and it turned out so cute and then um, 
I hung this owl on there because he kind of matched the because of the rose and everything. I have a black skull, some wings. Oh, this is this is a clock. I think everybody's seen these clocks. This is a um, jewelry finding, so I did that. But look, these this is new. Um, I don't even know if I think I put it away. This chain was on clearance at Michael's today. I happened to see it, and it's nuts and bolts. And I yeah, I definitely put it away. That's one thing I did put away. But look. So there's, I just use, it comes in silver and black, but they're like little bolts or nuts. What are these? These are the nuts. I forget. So I just put two of them on there. A little phone, um, a little heart with wings, and I hung some a key and a lock from it. And then at the top I have a crow and some feathers. But I don't know. I think it looks okay. I just, I like having something going on. I, I tried a couple different ribbons over here. I don't have a lot. I have seam binding now, but I didn't have any burgundy and I don't know. So anyway, all I did to the front was adhere the, the lady, the um, steampunk lady from this paper collection. And I glossy, mostly I use glossy accents to accent everything, all the paper. Um, I adhered these gears onto the paper, a little corner piece, and a rose. And I just glossy accented like anything that kind of looks like glass or anything. So that's the cover. And then inside, again, I, I glossy accented the eyes of these owls and just kind of put them on to add something to the paper. And I put these tags in there. These are just totally cut from the paper line. And this one too, and they're plain on the back, so you can put photos. But I, I wanted to have ribbon over here, so see how that one's shorter. And then this page, oops, I put it in the wrong pocket. This page is the back of the um, bag that has where the, the pocket is made from the bottom of the bag. So then you have these other little cut aparts. I mean, there's tons of them, all this size. And I just made a little booklet. You could put little photos or, or journaling in there. But I, that was just like little to stick in there. And I fussy cut these flowers from the collection and adhered them. Fussy cut that and this little crow. And adhered them as part of my embellishments. And then she's the, it's like a big tag. And it has journaling on the back, Vintage Voyages. And then this is another, one of those stamps. And I, I corner cut these to make them look more like, like a tag because it looked really kind of too much when the um if i didn't cut the corners off there it didn't look right because these are cut like tags like if you take it out see how it's like cut like a tag so it's stubbier because i cut them down to i forget how big but like i'll sh let me measure that real quick let's see how big i did these oops i can't tell four because it can't be bigger than four inches. That's right. So um, these just happen to fit perfectly. I mean, that they come out a little bit, but I thought it would be okay. Oh, this page is cool. I just used all the... This is steam, um, Steampunk Spells again. Made this little owl booklet here. I just adhered all these gears to that and put a gear here and a fussy cut out an owl here and put him here. And clocks and cogs. These are words that are from the chronology paper that's what it is okay the words I did and that just says steampunk spells and see I put a little eyelid in there just to give it something a little metal I didn't embellish too much I hope I did enough and then there's like a skeleton dude and this page is just the paper so pretty I colored a few of the items in with um, pencils like just to add a little something to it um, just a few things. I didn't do too much. Uh, this is just all. This was fussy cut from the paper and I put stickles on it. So I used stickles too. And this says Vintage Voyages. That's from the paper line. Full moon with like a hot air balloon. See I colored her lips and her eyes. And I did the same thing. I popped this one up. I cut this from a different um, color paper because this was a different paper. I think this was actually a tag. It was from the bigger version of this tag. That's exactly where I got it from my um, 12 by 12 pack and then I just colored the eyes and the lips popped it up and I have a couple more tags. It's just all from the paper line so these are cool. So I have that and then the last page I just kind 
All right, so that was 10 minutes, so we were on the last page. And it's just um, fussy cut again, all these different shapes from another piece of paper, and then I just glued them on. I don't know, maybe I think I should glossy accent them because they're gonna they're not standing out as much as I'd like. Steampunk spells, beware, and then I did glossy accent that little oops, out of frame, little booklet, little clock. Come on, time flies. So, but I love the back. I love this. I had to put it somewhere and I like it. Like just in the middle of the back, it just looks good. So I think I'm sending this one. Um, I only signed up for one spot. And I don't know, I, I guess I could sign up for another spot and then I'll get two back. That's kind of a good idea, actually. <laughs> so I could, uh, let's see. I mean, because this one's good, too. They both turned out pretty good. Boy, they're itty-bitty mini. They are small. Um, and I did use a... Um, a one inch binding ring on this for the um, bind it all but it's still got a little fat I don't know how big they get but it seems like I mean how many pages did I do one two three four five but they're bags so they're like double thick they have two tags in each bag so it's definitely it gets thicker at the at the end so um, but I don't know. What do you think, guys? Put the put the dangle with it. I love. I just love this. Like there were so many. I have so many pieces. If you could see my desk, like I don't know. There's tons of things that I have cut out. I have like this little thing. I was going to glue the back of that together and make this little spell book. Oh, excuse me. I have this little one. I mean, there's just. Oh, this is from something else. But like, there's so many cute things you could use and. Like, look at this, the Book of Spells. Like, that's so cute. And this is a good journaling thing. But you can't really fit it all in this little tiny book. That's what it is. I mean, like, look at him. He is so cool with his glasses shining. Um, his name is Mr. D oh, Dr. Dreadful. And he's Mr. Seymour Bones. Seymour Bones. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see. See, look, I even did the little guy. With his glass. Come on, focus. It won't focus. But anyway, they're so, they're so, the paper's so cute. Look, and then I made these. Look, this is, um, this is from the paper line. I just cut it. I actually glued it on. I put Believe on there. And this one's just, this actually, is this from the Steampunk Spells? Yeah, I think it is. Um, or it could be from, no, I think it is. Look at the color. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is from Steampunk Spells, but that's so cool. But I and I was gonna, thinking of putting it on the cover, but then I just thought, no, I want to put a flower and just I don't know. I know it's supposed to be masculine. It's so hard to decide like what to do. I mean, there's because you have so many cool things to use. I didn't use any of my stickers that I had. I didn't use the leather, you know. So like, and they're little, so you can't really put a lot of stuff. Anywho, that's what I ended up with. I think it turned out cute, and I think I might try to get two spots, and I'll send them both in. Because I have them on tape now, so that I remember what I did. And, oh, that's what I was going to say. By the way, if you haven't seen hers, NW Lady 1949 she has uh, a share of the Steampunk Spells where she uses only these, these pieces. I'll show you. Like, she uses all of these cut aparts. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? This one. Like, this size cut apart. So this is how big her mini album is. It's like this big. And she uses these as her main page. And then she has side pockets with, like, just the background paper in them. I mean, it's a really cool... Definitely, I love I loved it, and I'm probably gonna make one because I have plenty of paper left. I think I might try that next. And she bound it, so she cut when she made her pages. She made them out of cardstock, so kind of I, I made another one out of cardstock too because I was thinking I was gonna use that. But she did leave a little side piece that she bound it with, um, with a bind it all. So I'll have to find figure out how I'm gonna make it, and then just adhere this on. So it's still an itty bitty midi. It's still pretty much like. 
let's see how big these are. So this is under four inches, four by two and a half almost. But then if you put paper around it and stuff, so it's still, you know, five by five, if that or whatever, you know. So um, this doesn't go there. This one does. Um, but anyway, they're fun. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I think I might make a couple more. Um, just since I'm on the kick right now. I love them when they're done. They're a little frustrating when you're making them because you don't know what you're putting where. But anyway, um, okay guys, uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. And I'm going to try and get in the description box, I'll put um, NW Ladies and um, Steffo Gal. She's the one who does the paper bag um, tutorial of how you do these pages. So... Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.